Kia ora, uh, ko Elaine and Tapataki Curtis to Pungwa, no te arawa hai. Um, I'm a Māori doctor from Aotearoa, New Zealand. My name's Olusia Vizi. I'm um, a Māori woman from Torres Strait Islander descent, and I'm currently working as a junior doctor at the Māori Health Services in Brisbane. I probably love being able to really focus on Māori health. For me, being able to focus on Indigenous health, Māori health, really being able to work in that area for me, that's just a bit of a passionate thing for me. I want to make a difference for my people. I want to do it by health and being a doctor is my way of doing that. Being an actual doctor was a lot harder than I think and I thought. I probably went there more on a radical sort of arm. I was more wanting to make a change and make a difference and so I really got attracted to public health medicine. So that's what I've done now, I'm a public health medicine specialist. Rather than in the clinics and working in there, that's, that's not where I want to be. I guess what I love at the moment is being able to be there at a crucial point in someone's life and being, being the face um, that perhaps gives them good news but perhaps gives them bad news and being able to kind of direct how that process goes and how they come out at the other end of it. Um, whether that's in emergency medicine, whether that's in a GP practice or delivering a baby, just being able to be that person that that person will remember. I'm a very proud MAPE student and I got into medicine by the Māori Pacific Admission Scheme at the University of Auckland. That was available to me to apply to. It's, um, I guess it was known as affirmative action then but uh, I would call it more about restorative justice. It basically allowed me um, entry into what's a highly competitive program. And once I got in there, I had to do everything else the same. So I went to University of Queensland. I did the um, GAMSAT, um, which is a long day of examinations. Um, but I just kind of took it one step at a time, one question at a time, um, and then was fortunate enough to be offered an interview. and. Got in. I um, connected early with the Australian Indigenous Doctors Association. I looked at their website when I was even just thinking about doing medicine, um, and then I, um, through Uncle Noel Heyman, got connected to some of the students that were a couple of years above me. I had a couple of uh, final year students mentoring me through that first year, and that really, like, in an in a unofficial capacity, um, and I think that was a big deal breaker for me having someone to talk to about my stress and and how to deal with things. But unusual, I was ten when I decided I wanted to do medicine um, and I wanted to do that really because I sort of understood that Māori weren't getting a fair deal, Māori weren't expected to do medicine and I wanted to sort of do that to change that so I was just very lucky that I had a bit of a vision and followed that from about 10 onwards. My father is an Aboriginal health worker and I grew up um, with him being very involved in our community. Um, he was on the board that started our first, our Aboriginal medical service back home. Um, and so I think I grew up watching him do a lot and give a lot of himself for our community. Um, and I originally wanted to go into the same line of work of Aboriginal health work. Um, and it just kind of progressed from there um, through nursing into medicine. Being a doctor has changed my life. Um, it's created opportunities. It's created a lot of privilege, you've got to be able to manage that very well. Um, it's created opportunities for my family, it's, it's their achievement as much as it is mine um, and it means that I have a responsibility to give back. It's become a lot busier um, as an um, outcome of taking every opportunity um, but I wouldn't change it any other way and I think the, the fulfilment that you get from being, being a doctor is far outweighs any of the, the busy times and long hours. If you want to study medicine, you've got to do a couple of things. You've got to believe in yourself, believe in our potential as Indigenous people. Once we're scientists, not once we're warriors, once we're scientists, this is our dream, it's our life, this is who we are, you can do it. I would say do it, <laughs> um, but go into it knowing who you are, I think, and, and go into it with, with a, and find your passion. I think if you, the hours don't matter when, when you're passionate about what you're doing um, and it is a, a long haul, it's a lot of study and it's a lot of hours but if you're passionate about what you do then it doesn't matter. But you've got to get yourself set up for success, you've got to get the building blocks in place, you've got to take the science subjects, you've got to aim for excellence because we need excellent doctors treating our communities, we need excellent people in and amongst us so that we can address the inequities in health. We need excellence.